Hi, I'm Katie Brown and welcome to part five of the goal setting module. Setting smart goals is such a crucial component of realizing your goals. So we have a few examples today to give you a little kickstart in setting smart goals. Let's start off with the example of writing study notes. I will make study notes that will revise the first three dot points of the first section of the chemistry syllabus and complete them before 7 p.m. this Saturday. Let's assume that Saturday is three days away and the student can usually cover one dot point per day. The goal here is really specific and its success or failure can be easily measured because there's a target that needs to be achieved by a set time. So this goal has distinct action-oriented steps within it. Let's look at another example using SMART outside the realm of studying. This time, we're setting a goal about learning to drive. I will do four hours of driving lessons every Saturday and Sunday for the next 12 weeks so I can qualify for the required amount of hours to be eligible for the driving test. Obviously in this example we're assuming that your weekends are free and that someone's there to accompany you for the lessons. This is a good use of SMART because it's specific, you can easily measure whether you've achieved the goal or not, and there's a set time limit with reasonable expectations, and the actions to achieve it are very straightforward. So there you have it. You now have the skills to effectively set goals to achieve your dream ATAR. It's your turn to put this into action. And just one final word on goal setting. All of the steps that we've covered may sound simple and that's actually the point. A lot of students and people take time thinking about goals, but it's only a few people that actually take the time to write them down. The simple act of physically writing down your goals is scientifically proven to boost your success rate. So the sooner you build this into a habit, the more success you'll experience, not only with your ATAR, but also in the years to come. I'm Katie Brown, thanks for watching.